Hello everyone, welcome back to my balcony garden. This is again Sass of Lady Enchantress Garden. Today, let me present to you one of the scented plant that I have here. This is Ilang Ilang. This is the dwarf variety of Ilang Ilang or Kananga or Orodonat. So let me show you and walk you through how easy it is to maintain, surprisingly how easy it is to maintain this plant and the care that you can, or the tips that you can apply in growing this plant. So check this out. Lo and behold, this is a mature Ilang Ilang flower as you can see right here with its golden yellow, if there's a thing, like dark yellow, almost gold. This should not be confused. By the way, this is the um, Proticosa variety. This is a shrub. This is not the Ilang Ilang tree. And this is very ideal if ever you are growing this in the container. So first thing that you have to know is that this is a tropical plant. Therefore, it loves the sun so much and it needs a certain level of humidity for this plant to thrive ideally. In terms of fertilization, this is less demanding than your tomato. So just a little compost and your FFJ or fermented fruit juice is more than enough for this plant. Since this flower is dangling, I think it's my duty to show you how it looks like at the center. So this is still during its yellow-green stage and it is nice to have them in different colors like yellow, yellow-green and it looks really cool. The good thing about this plant is that this is not really the most favorite plant that your garden pests like black bugs and aphids and whatnot to feast on. I mean, I've seen mealybugs here and there, but they were able to resist it and they are still thriving really good. So if I see one or two, I just like picking them out. It's elongated dark green leaves with a contrasting color of its flower with slightly curled tip is a very nice addition to your collection if you're into houseplants. So here, I present to you, oh, not yet, this one. This is like the branch that almost touches the um, gardenia, the one that is heavily infected with pest. But look at this plant. It's still looking so healthy and looking so vibrant without any additional or extra care. So the roots is almost visible but there's no really harm if ever they look at this way. So this is hardy, like almost wood, but it's not really as hard as, you know, the small berry wood. So it has this stem or it branch out this way with a very soft stem, but this is not the way that the Ilang Ilang tree is branching out. I mean, it's, it is growing differently. It is considered that this plant also cast away some evil spirits and might be considered a folklore but this is something i got from the enthusiast of this plant around here in asia now time to transplant it from a different container away from this poor thing gardenia so now we're here in my balcony to give you a better look of this plant now it is not a secret that this plant is one of the top notes of some perfumes out there in the market well, everybody knows it is the scent of Chanel number no. 5. I mean, not just the scent, but the top note of Chanel number no. 5. One of the highest, I would say the highest um, rated perfume, but one of the most expensive perfumes and being rated as one of the best perfume. It's called Ilang in Gold. Maybe I'm going to get a picture. This is actually um, a top note, but it's name, but a top note of Ilang Ilang and considered to be one of the most um, sought after fragrance of this time. I think that is a relatively new fragrance compared to Chanel number no. 5. Other fragrance houses are also producing perfumes and fragrances uh, from Ilang Ilang, extracts from Ilang Ilang, like Vinci, Hermes. I believe there are lines of perfumes right there which scent comes from this flower 
In some gardening groups, they are asking me if ever I'm growing these as a cutting, as a seedling. Well, I just bought it when this plant was just a seedling, but I took care of it. And after just two to three months, it started to flower. So, good thing about it is that I have now the chance to discover in terms of how to propagate this. But maybe that would be in another video. So, make sure you watch the rest of my propagation video um, about some flowers and also some berries which I will link down below so this is how it looks like by the way when it starts to wither so from its yellow yellow green and then it turns brown eventually so this is it last look and then I'll catch you guys next time thank you so much for watching have a great day bye